I was perched outside in the pouring rain Trying to make myself a sail But I'll float to you, my darling With the evening on my tail Although not the most honest means of travel It gets me there nonetheless I'm a heartless man at worst Be better help this one at best Darling, I'll bathe your skin I'll even wash your clothes Just give me some candy Before I go Oh darling, I'll kiss your eyes And lead down on your rug Just give me some candy After my heart Oh, I'm often found explaining But to her it plays out all the same And although I'm left defeated It gets held against my name I know you've got plenty to offer, baby But I guess I've taken quite enough you're some stain there on your bed sheets You're my diamond in the rough Darling, I'll bathe your skin I'll even wash your clothes Just give me some candy After my heart Oh, darling, I'll kiss your eyes down on your rug Just give me some candy After my heart And I know that there's writings on the wall Oh, darling, I'll bathe your skin I'll even wash your clothes Just give me some candy Before I go Oh, darling, I'll kiss your eyes I'll Lay down on your rug Just give me some candy after my heart So, I mean, I've grown up my whole life in Edinburgh. I went to school here, made all my friends here and stuff. Um, so obviously, just having that as your hometown, you sort of fall in love with the city anyway. But it wasn't really till... I left Edinburgh that I sort of realised like how much I actually meant to me, how much my friends meant to me, to be honest. But um, it was when I was in um, New York, because we were out there at the beginning of this year. Um, with the, I had like an internship with the, the New York Times when I was out there. So to make some extra money and pay for my dinners and donuts and hot dogs and stuff. Um, I'd Well, I bought a guitar when I was out in the States and then I would sit in Central Park with a big saltire um, on a park bench and just play songs. But then I think the Scotland flag sort of, well, attracted loads of Scottish people because it's such a small world anyway. So you'd get people coming up to me from Glasgow, Kinross, Edinburgh and being like, oh, play Palantini, play Jerry Cinnamon and stuff like that. So, and then but I, I thought that was magic and it was such so nice to have like that bit of home when I was away from home. But it made me kind of homesick there in in America, and then that's sort of what prompted me to write the song Edinburgh. Um, yeah, so that I, I sort of had the idea, and it came about um, when I was over in the states, and then got some of the sentiments for the lyrics and stuff. Knew I wanted to name drop some of like the the Arthur seats, the Lothian roads and stuff, and then came back. Um, basically, got deported from America because my visa went void because of the virus and everything, because I wasn't um, with the times anymore. And then came back and started writing, and it, it just sort of came together really nicely and ended up being a pretty nice love letter to 
my hometown and just about growing up with your mates and your mates moving on to wherever places they've gone now, whether it be uni or elsewhere and sort of just making sure that when you come back home to Edinburgh that you're, you know, still best mates like you never left and stuff. So, yeah, that's pretty much where it came from. This feeling's kind of strange blood Rushing right through my veins I, And I need this feeling to go on Don't know how to describe it Walked in and the room went silent Why does it feel like I've known you forever? Don't ask me how I know this But your favourite smell is roses Down in a shop in Morningside Kitch heels off down on George Street Dragged me up Arthur seat To watch the sunset And that's when you said Maybe it's a matter of time Before the world swallows you up And leaves me behind so I just want to know If you'll meet me down on the Inn Road tonight You've been out on the town now Your tears are falling down And wiping the makeup off your face Lost you in the smoking area Had something I had to tell ya But it'll have to wait God knows it'll have to wait Don't quite know how to say this Thought the ending would be painless But I have been wrong before And I miss nights at the West End Getting drunk with my best friends But you were there So I didn't care that it's only a matter of time Before the world swallows you up And leaves me behind So I just want to know If you'll meet me down on the road tonight Time before the world swallows you up and leaves me behind. So, I just want to know if you'll meet me down on the road tonight. I'd seen another artist called Luke LaVolpe, who's another one from Bathgate, and that Bathgate's got everybody from Capaldi and the Snuts to, to Luke and everyone. He, two weeks prior to me releasing Edinburgh, topped the Scottish charts with his song. And he, I sort of just looked at that and thought that I might be able to try and achieve that as well. So um, we got this really nice sort of music video put together people sent in photos of them with their mates in Edinburgh, just photos of Edinburgh, I put it all together. And we released that on Facebook um, a couple of days prior to the actual song's release to sort of build some hype and stuff. Released the song, and thankfully it just connected with a lot of people in, I think, a really nice way. And the support and everyone getting behind it was quite unbelievable. Um, And then within the week, we'd actually managed to top the Scottish charts as well, um, which was just unbelievable I was with my parents at the time when we found out and it was just like it was quite a special moment in the house it was lot. It was during lockdown as well so yeah it was really special and then off the back of that I mean the press was amazing everyone was supporting me with the newspapers and then um, we got on the BBC Scotland on the radio and then the BBC contacted me again um, to have me on the telly to play the song out on the obviously we couldn't have the Edinburgh Fringe so they had like a the Edinburgh show, which was replacing the Fringe on BBC Scotland. So they had me down to record the song there and they played that out on the telly. So the impact that like that song's had definitely sort of kick-started everything and hopefully put my name on the map a wee bit and 
push me on to do other stuff, yeah, for sure. Talk to me please, look me in the eyes And I know it's hard to do, but you don't have to disguise Take off the mask, it's a laugh, land on the sunny night But when morning comes around, you're gonna be in fur fright And I've always wondered why you can't see right through me And I've always wondered why you can't see right through me Caught in a trap, and no it's not the present day But I can't understand it being any other way It's the gift of time, and I know that I'll spend it right Don't matter to me if this is not your fight and I've always wondered why you can't see right through me And I've always wondered why you can't see right through me And now the rain is turning to in your eyes go red And I can't tell what's going on inside her head Can you miss it? I'm not trying to hide But I can't tell what's going on inside my mind And I've always wondered why you can't see right through me And I've always wondered why you can't see right through me And I've always wondered why you can't see right through me And I've always wondered why you can't see right through me Yeah, so I mean, I played guitar uh, for for many years, and I'd been a huge fan of music. My dad and my mum sort of brought me up on it. Um, a lot of ACDC around the house, which is always good. Um, not that my music sounds anything like ACDC, but you know, uh, there's a lot of like Scottish bands. Um, Tom Walker being from well, Glasgow, half Glasgow, um, half from Manchester, I think. Anyway, so he was a big inspiration. Um, the Snuts are another band from Bathgate, your Jerry Cinnamons, your Paul Nottinis, especially looking at, you know, what Jerry Cinnamon's done, one man and a guitar, so that's mega inspiring for me. But um, yeah, just sort of coming up a lot around a lot of music, and then I went to go and see one of my favourite bands, um, the Snuts, at a um, venue in Glasgow, the SGW3, and um, they were basically on stage playing and between songs, they'd announced that they'd all quit their day jobs and they'd been signed to a label and they were off to basically just be rock stars. And I was just sitting, well, standing in the crowd, sort of looking at these this band that I'd followed from pretty much being grassroots and playing your Sneaky Pete's in Edinburgh and, you know, your, your Tuts in Glasgow and stuff. And they'd sort of, that to me was their moment of they've made it and that's now their life, music's their life. And that was quite special to me. So... I think that was December of 2018 and I begged my mum to get some recording gear for Christmas and then recorded my first song and released it May of 2019 and then everything sort of followed from that. But then I think it was sort of December, November time 2019, one of my friend's mum sent me a newspaper clipping of Tom Walker looking for support acts. So it was a sort of apply to play slot. Um, so obviously applied online, put my song in um, and I think they said they'd get back to you know applicants in December or something, and December came around and nothing, um, nothing. I'd heard nothing, so I sort of assumed that you know someone else won a while. 
And then I think it was the middle of January, I was working to make money to go out to America um, at the time. I got a call when I was at work, basically huge adrenaline shot, was shaking, had to sit down, and they basically pit me to support Tom Walker, which was just dream come true, and especially to support someone of that calibre um, at that time in my career was, you know, quite special, and, and it really helped me out a lot. Um, but So I called my mum, and she was basically, I think she was working at the time, she said something like, oh, oh this is the, good, good, just talk to me when you're home or whatever, so... Went home to talk to my mom, and she says, oh, I'm so happy for you. I'm so proud of you, buddy. It's just a shame you can't do it. I looked at her, and I was like, what? She was like, well, you're in America. You, you, you can't, can't play the gig. I was like, mom, we're, we're flying home. You don't say no to Tom Walker. You don't say no to this thing. So she was super supportive. And as soon as I said that, I think she realized how much it meant to me. And we sat, and I obviously booked flights to go to America anyway. So I sat and booked flights to come home. <laughs> for a day to play the gig so I think I went out to New York for about 10 days flew back on the 11th of February played the gig on the 12th of February flew back to America on the 13th so quite the trip but well worth it <laughs> for sure yeah now I know that you pretend to care when you're half cut and she's not there I know that you don't want to hear that you're the reason that I breathe in. Talk is cheap and love is wasted on a girl that just gets intoxicated. And I'm tired of growing old, I'll miss you when the sun gets cold. So lay me down, I need to rest my soul I know I'm growing old, I know I'm growing old Lay me down, cause I want so much more You know I'm growing old, I know I'm growing old Sometimes I lose my mind But that's okay, cause love is blind Sometimes when you say you care, I know it's not true, cause you're never there. You cut our love with others, I'll find you under bed, she covers. When I'm gone, so does the past, I knew that this would never last. So lay me down, I need to rest my soul I know I'm growing old, I know I'm growing old Lay me down, cause I want so much more You know I'm growing old, I know I'm growing old Lay me down, I need to rest my soul I know I'm growing old, I know I'm growing old down, cause I want so much more You know I'm growing old I know I'm growing old Fall into pieces You've left me speechless 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 Lay me down, I need to rest my soul I know I'm growing old, I know I'm growing old me down, cause I want so much more. You know I'm growing old, I know I'm growing old. Lay me down, I need to rest my soul. I know I'm growing old, I know I'm growing old. Lay me down, cause I want so much more. You know I'm growing old, I know I'm growing old. Lay me down, I need to rest my soul. I know I'm growing old, I know I'm growing old. Lay 
weigh me down Cause I want so much more You know I'm growing old I know I'm growing old No, definitely. I think this year has been a real turning point for me in sort of realizing that I can take this as far as I as far as I'm able to if, with a bit of hard work and some luck, to be honest. But um, yeah, I think right now I'm just sort of in writing mode for a, for an EP that's hopefully going to release first or second quarter next year. I've got some really like really great people I'm working with just now on co-writes and stuff. Um, so yeah, it's exciting. But next year, as soon as gigs come back, I've got um, a tour booked in um, for Edinburgh, Glasgow, Aberdeen, Dundee and London. So all the dates for that were in February. Obviously, they're not going to be in February anymore, but hopefully we can reschedule to, you know, your September, October time next year and tour the country, which is a bit of a dream come true. But um, yeah, so I think next year's, well, right now is just writing more music and having a wee back catalogue so we can release a couple of singles and lead up to an EP and then just tune it everywhere and whoever wants to listen to it can listen basically. Um, yeah, I'll, I, as much as I love, you know, the writing process and the recording and releasing songs, there's nothing like playing gigs. So I can't wait for that to come back really, yeah. I think, I mean, the music industry right now is just in such a sad place and it's getting no help from the government well it was and still is getting really little to no help from the government which isn't great at all um but having said that i think it's brought the music industry especially in scotland closer in a really quite beautiful way and people are we're all in the same position and i think people are actually becoming more empathetic with people willing to do live streams to raise money for venues or um one of my mates the other day well, the other the other month I actually did a unbelievable live stream um, raising money for for Teenage Cancer Trust, and he got the likes of Lewis Capaldi, the Snuts, unbelievable bands on just because he put his mind to something, and people were willing to help out. So I think there's going to be a beautiful shift when music comes back. I think people are going to support grassroots music more than ever, and I hope they do because we need the support and the venues need the support. But I've, I've just got the feeling that when we're allowed to go back to gigs and when everything's back to normal, I think it's going to be a pretty good time. I hope anyway, because we've come through this rough patch and to have it go back and have people support grassroots music and gigs and venues and just enjoying music properly again, I think it's going to be pretty special. Yeah, I mean, firstly, some people say that like music and football don't go hand in hand, but I think they absolutely do, especially the feeling you get from both. I mean, from a gig and from a football game or hearing a song or being with fans or stuff, it absolutely goes hand in hand. But um, yeah, my, my dad's from Dundee and my granddad's from Dundee, so I was brought up a Dundee United fan, um, which is good because the best team anyway. <laughs> but yeah I think my first memory of Dungeon United is the CIS Cup against Rangers which we lost which is a bit rubbish but um, yeah I mean we've been to three cup finals seen them win one which is good so no it's been it's been a good time to be a Dungeon United fan and I've had some great players over the years that I've been alive and you know Gary Mackay Steven is looking for a club so if Gary, Mast if Gary Mackay Steven is watching this please sign for us again but um, yeah I mean Going to the football every every Saturday, every second Saturday up to Tannadice with my dad's just like a really fond memory of mine. And my brother is completely football mad as well. So and then my best friend and his dad. So we it's we go up together and watch the football. It's just great fun. But then um, after I released Edinburgh, the United fans were you know you've released a song about Edinburgh, you've got to get a song about Dundee. Come on. So um, one of the United fans on Twitter sent me a wee message. Um, write a Dungeon song and he sent me um this sort of skeleton of a, of a song it's an old cub song like a baseball one um I sort of worked around that and threw in the United lyrics and released it um, and we made a quite a nice YouTube video to go with it with all the famous Dungeon goals over the year um yeah and some some nice commentary so we released that I think uh, a couple of weeks back and um they actually play it at Tanadice now before games which is just 
so special to me. And I think the first time um, Ronnie's the announcer at Tanadice, he played it at the Celtic game, um, which I think we lost one now. No, yeah, we lost one now. Um, but it was on Sky Sports. Me and my brother were sitting in the, the living room watching it. And Callum was like, that's your song. No, it's not. But you could hear it coming through on the loudspeaker through Sky Sports. So we're, me and Callum are like, at the t- my brother Callum, at the TV with our ears right to the speaker. And you could you could hear it through. And then um, Ronnie now plays it before before games and stuff. And he sends me videos of it coming through the Tannoy. So hopefully when we get back to Tannadice, um, that carries on. And it'll be a special moment to have, you know, my, my f- mates and my family at Tannadice and hearing the song. Okay. Don't let anyone say that it's just a game For I've seen other teams and it's never the same When you're born in Dundee or up united at heart There's one team that plays at Tannadice Park And our heroes wear the bad shoes in Tangerine The best football team that I've ever seen Forever we'll win and if we should lose We'll know someday we'll go all the way Yeah, and someday we'll go all the way We're at one with the terrors The terrors were in love Yeah, hold our heads high as the underdogs We're not fair weathered but foul weathered fans We're brothers in arms in the streets and the stands there's magic in the shed, home and away I'll follow United till the end of my days In a world full of greed I could never want more And someday we'll go all the way Yeah, and someday we'll go all the way Here's to the men, the legends we've known Teaching us faith and giving us hope United will stand, United will fall Down to our knees the day we win it all Play for the badge, we'll remember the name Of tangerine blood running in your veins In the same pitch, our turf, our jewel The home of our joy and our tears Keeping traditions and wishes made new place where our grandfathers, fathers, they grew A spiritual feeling if I ever knew And if you've not been then I'm sorry for you And when the day comes with that last winning goal And I'm crying and covered in beer I'll look to the sky and I'll know I was right To think someday we'll go all the way Yeah, and someday we'll go all the way Someday we'll go all the way Yeah, and someday we'll go